how to change characteristics inside of a quick selection. Let's say that you have a photo that you want to select and do something with. You choose the quick selection tool, which is hidden underneath the magic wand tool. So you choose the quick selection tool and you select whatever it is you want to select just by clicking and dragging. If you select too much, for example, under this chair, if I need to get rid of that, press Alt on the keyboard and your quick selection turns to a minus and you can deselect that part. If you need to change your brush size, you can choose the brackets on your keyboard and without the Alt key selected, you can select more and I'm going to select this leg down here. If after you've selected your selection and you still need to make changes, if you go up to select on the menu, you can make a couple of changes by going down to refine edge which will now allow you to adjust what you have selected. So you could feather out the edge if you like. You can make it more smoothly, smooth. You can change the contrast. Uh, you can do a number of different things here. Um, you're done. You click OK. Now, if this is something that you're going to select multiple times, what I would recommend doing is going up to Select. Go down to Save Selection, and this will allow you to save your selection for another time. So you click OK. Now if you deselect it by pressing Control D, you do something else, and then you're like, oh, I want to go back. All you have to do is go up to Select, Load Selection. It has it saved. You click OK, and there's your selection. You can then come over here, and you can apply very various uh, layer style adjustments. So if you wanted to make it black and white, you could do that. I'm going to undo. You could also go up to select, inverse, come back over to your layers. Maybe I'll make everything else black and white. And there you have it.